The Dawn of Gaming here, and it's time to do another unboxing of Arcade Block for the month of April. You know, I always get these boxes really late. This one actually shipped to me on April 29th, and I don't know why they decide to ship these so late. I like to do these boxes as soon as I get them, and so I'm doing them now. So, let's just get right into it. So, the first item I got is from Shirt Punch, and it looks like a Kingdom Hearts shirt. There's Sora right there, and he has the Keyblade, and it has like a the uh, Heartless symbol in the background. So this shirt is really cool. I really like it. I really enjoy Kingdom Hearts a lot. I can't wait for the third one to come out. I was a big fan of the first one and the second one. I know a lot of people at first when they first heard Kingdom Hearts since like Final Fantasy with Disney and everybody was like, okay. But you know, the more I heard about it, the more I saw the more I got into it, and then I played it, and it was a lot of fun. I'm glad that the second one changed some of the mechanics and some of the fighting styles, and the game just became really, really good. I really like that game a lot. It's, that, it's a really cool shirt. It really, you know, is the essence of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, too bad there's no, like, other characters like Donald Duck or Goofy or some of the Final Fantasy characters that are in the game. But, you know, it's still a really cool shirt. So let's move on to the next thing. <laughs> So, it looks like to be salt pepper shakers of Pac-Man. That is really cool. I'm gonna open this up real quick. I really like getting knickknacks and stuff like this. This is the stuff that I like getting. Uh, stuff I actually will use. The salt and the pepper for Pac-Man. See, Blinky and Inky are the colors, and so Blinky is the red one, and Inky is the blue one. So we'll put these up here. Really cool. I, like I said, I like getting things like this. This makes me happy. This is so far, but it's been a really good box, and I really like them a lot. That you know, it's just one of those things that I'm gonna use around the house. And so the next item seems to be a Skylander. It's a Drobot. Apparently, this thing you know broke off or whatever. But there's Drobot right there. He's the uh, what the character looks like. This is what he actually looks like. Skyline figures uh, bringing the gap between toy collectors and video game fans. Skylander is a force to reckon with. Add this figure to your collection. Um, it doesn't say it's a arcade block exclusive, but it's still pretty cool. I mean, Skylanders is a game that people play a lot. It's kind of like um, kind of like an amiibo. Uh, I know this came out way before amiibo and then Disney Infinity and stuff like that. And so this is the originator of that kind of game, uh, as far as I can think of in, in far as consoles go. So, I got Drobot. So there's this thing, and looks like uh, a chest from Zelda. At least it has like part of level one and some hearts and stuff like that, so it's like a heart container, uh, not heart container, but a chest from like, you know, RPGs and stuff like that. It doesn't say Zelda, but it definitely has a lot of, if you look at it, it has a lot of uh, pictures from Zelda. Uh, so, you know, it's just interesting to see the kind of designs that decided to use. Level up anything with this 8-bit treasure. Backpacks, hoodies, magic keys, and more. So, uh, another one of those keychains. Something I will definitely put up when I get a chance. So the next thing is level four or video games uh, live level four. So this is basically going to be a music CD of this live edition. It's arcade block edition of level four video game live music. And so the games are uh, the songs in there that they did was Donkey Kong Country and League of Legends: The Challengers, uh, Final Fantasy VI: The Opera Remix, uh, Cave Story. World of Warcraft Magnificent Delusion, I'm sorry, Magnificent Desolation, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, Uncharted 2 Zelda Lullaby, Resident Evil 5 Wind of Madness, Assassin's Creed's Black Flag, and Bioshock, and the last one on here is uh, Earthworm Jim. But there are some bonus tracks, Chrono Trigger, uh, actually Chrono Cross, Radical Dream, Dreamers, and uh, Caspinio Rock Live. Uh, this is really cool. I really like getting game remixes, 
and so I definitely want to listen to it. I will be listening to this. Uh, I'll probably put it on my iPod, and uh, yeah, that's really cool. So it has a lot of cool things, different composers and uh, groups that did these music. So. And the last, looks like the last item is going to be a retro magazine, arcade block. Uh, so, it just basically looks like a magazine um, of retro gaming. Uh, that's actually really cool because I, I enjoy looking at these kind of magazines, the ones that have like the retro uh, game stuff in it. And hopefully, maybe this even has uh, like a, uh, usually like a collector's corner or something like that that has um, what's rare and what's not rare um, basically just to see what kind of fun stuff that, that I own that is really hard to find that's always fun to me to actually see some of that stuff but you know I like collecting just because I like the games and stuff like that so this is the retro magazine um, and so yeah it's this is pretty cool I actually will be reading this that seems to be it for this box for April. Um, you know what? I really like the salt and pepper shakers. The music. This is actually a really good month. Uh, with Arcade Block, it normally is. I really can't say too many bad things about Arcade Block. Arcade Block, for me especially, it just this definitely hits home. And this box especially, like it has the, the salt and pepper shakers. Yeah, but if I had to pick one, I'm gonna have to say the salt and pepper shakers. I, I'm really, you know, I, I, it gets me every time. I get, you know, I, I get these, like, mugs or whatever, game mugs and stuff, and stuff that I can actually use around the house is really cool to me, and, uh, you know, something I can actually use and display. It's always fun to have those kind of things. Anyway, uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, and or thumbs up, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at the Dawn of Gaming. I do have a new Twitch channel. Uh, Dawn of Gaming, and uh, yeah, uh, I guess I will catch you later.